so it's already one o'clock the next day so today was very uneventful leaving uh, Karkloof I was just packing up and uh, Sally was a bit smashed after last night she only obviously only as you saw only got in at like 11 o'clock from her 50 miler so just very chilled and then we had a black top drive all the way to Kotsu so that's where we are now again man it's all, it's hard to describe it's a uh, it looks like a, well it is a farm lots of horses so they offer horse trails and all that kind of stuff um, some beautiful horses on the way in here but um, yeah we're at this um, at this site um, but check at this man it's just unbelievable so I'm gonna take a trap up that little copy there just now uh, more kind of sunsetty just to to uh, go and just check it out and maybe take a couple of photos but yeah it's unbelievable yeah man I'm gonna just take you a quick walk around just so that you can have a look and see um, so there's our little our little spot um, all set up here um, Sally's unpacking while I do the tour so we parked uh, right next to a little river here apparently there's a swimming hole a little bit like about 50 meters up here which I'm going to go and take a little dip in there's one other uh, camper here this evening so I mean check at this man. it's just incredible and these people that are Steve who's the owner of this place it's, uh, he's quite a character so yeah it's, uh, it's been brilliant so this is our little our spot for tonight and the rest of today so yeah man, it's just I mean check this out yeah so maybe later I'll take you on a little walk up that little copy and we can see what's going on there but I think it's time to get the landy sorted get ourselves unpacked and uh, yeah settle in so weather changed a little bit um, a little bit of a thunderstorm um, so it's a little bit cloudy now beautiful day though still nice and a little bit chilly but warm enough so I was quite keen to go and walk up this uh, this little copy here and see what it's like and what the views like from up at the top so so join me on my little trek up to the top a little wooden bridge this rock is quite rad not sure where the path is but we'll just kind of figure our way up somehow um, hopefully I haven't bitten off more than I can chew yet so, having dodgy knees and then trying to climb up a mountain but I uh, have to give it a go that's why they make Panama so you can climb up here and then still be able to walk <laughs> the next day It's a bit of a windy path. I suppose it's better than going straight up. It's flipping rad here, man. 
Okay, so it turns out the path kind of just uh, ended. So I had to do a little bit of a, a scramble up and it's flipping rather, rather steep. But, uh, you know, once you start it, you can't just stop. So, but the view here, is spectacular I mean guys come on man I mean this is so rad see oh we climb up on one of these rocks here and then Maybe give you a little bit of a better perspective. So let's turn this around. So, there's the landy, and pretty much this guy's farm just flipping around, man. Unreal. So yeah, worth the climb, I'd say. No doubt. Let's hope it's easier going down, which generally never is. So wish me luck. Okay, so coming down was a lot more easier. Not because it was coming down, but from when, from up top there, you can actually see the the path that I should have taken. <laughs> so, it always makes it that much easier. So, yeah, it was a lot easier coming down. If it's a great morning tomorrow, I think I might take a little stroll up here again and see what it's like on sunrise might make some some epic photos but yeah nice little excursion morning so it's like quarter to six in the morning I walk back up this little copy to try and get the sunrise but uh, I missed it <laughs> so the trek up the copy was a little bit hectic but uh, with your camera bag on the back so by the time I got you it was done but no fears I think there's still some really cool opportunities here so I think I'm going to try and get those mountains in the background as the sun pops up from underneath the uh, or from behind these these mountains in front of me and hopefully those those mountains will light up quite nicely so yeah it's a waiting game but I'm sure the photos are going to be great and then it's a little trap down and then some brekkie 